gray one. Can you give me water? All right. Peckham and T3 Dom, two masters of playing at that rage game. Oh, yeah. I was just talking. Hi, Fresh. I was just talking about, um, I was talking to Dom about, like, Puff versus Belmont and Puff versus Minmin. Just so happened we're also getting them here. Um, two characters that are definitely the quote unquote distance demons that they are. Um, but of course, uh, Dom having the projectile game versus uh, Peckham. I feel like we're just going to see a lot of um, ledge trapping attacks from Dom. And once Peckham gets it going, he's going to go for more of those like edge guards with side B. Definitely. And there's no doubt Dom, best director in the world, is like. Oh, yeah. Peckham, I mean, DeBuzz doesn't play Min Min that much. So potentially Peckham, best Min Min in the NA. So excited to see how this matchup goes. Oh, absolutely. I know. Um, Peckham was talking to me a little bit earlier about the nerfs and how they can definitely play a, a impact on the way that this matchup will go. But so far, if they play at this distance game, the nerf shouldn't be too much of a problem for uh, Peckham. True, but this ledge pressure is definitely something to be pulled from down. You really got to be patient and know what you're doing to fight against this ledge pressure like that. Every projectile coming in, covering every single one of your options is just insane. Yeah, I mean, um, Dom is like the ledge trapper of SoCal. You, there's so many of his clips where he's just literally ledge trapping for like 45 seconds. Like you're just crazy uh, pressure on the ledge. But uh, so far, Peckham's been able to uh, get off the ledge well against Dom, even having like the worst ledge options that uh, yeah. Minmin does that have. Ram -ram, oh, that's it. Yeah, that ram ram oh, yeah. exactly yeah. into the first side, exactly into the side. That's going to be how he lands. Yeah, that edge guard sequence. Dom wants the ledge trap. Peckham doesn't even want Dom on the ledge. He wants to get him off stage and dead. So I do know you can down air the arms to recover, but I highly doubt that. It's true. Yeah. I've seen it. Did he just down air the Min Min arm <laughs> to recover? So I highly doubt it will be in play, but it is an option. I, if we see that, that'd be crazy. But Peckham live until 159. If you don't fall for Belmont's shots, it's very hard to, for them to actually get that kill. Oh, oh, is that your double jump? That's, that's it. That's it. Zero to death. Just done. That's a three stock Dom with the universal run it back. And uh, that was. That didn't look fun. Hey, hey, I'll tell you this SoCal or anybody watching struggling with Minmin, pick up Jigglypuff. Uh, we don't get hit with that. I can vouch for that. Yeah, we don't get we don't get hit. We don't have to deal with that. Are you gonna go Puff with Jigglypuff? Um, debating it. Steve might slightly win. Oh, I think I think so too. But hey, if it doesn't work out. If it doesn't work out. I, that's the reason I still keep around Puff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, just pick up Puff is easy. I'll right. teach you. Getting into the second game, let's see how Dom can change up the neutral game, change up his game plan, and just overall see if he can get in and keep him out. Yeah, I think so far it's been pretty good for Peckham. And that distance game where Dom wants to throw out that forwarder and backer, I feel like Peckham, if he has a correct read on it, he's able to get the hitbox out sooner and do more percent and push you off stage. Yeah, and the biggest thing to note about this matchup is that Min Min can both ledge trap and edge guard, whereas Richter sport. has to focus so much on his ledge trapping that he's not really able to give Min Min too much. It's going to be very crucial in Yeah, and I think, you know, with the best of five format, uh, Dom's going to be able to adapt much better to Peckham's pressure. But I feel like once Dom gets off stage, it's so difficult difficult for him to come back and great jump read from Peckham there is going to keep Dom off stage once again this uh, pressure from Peckham has been absolutely insane that down tilt definitely going to play a part in the getting out of the ledge anything to get out of the ledge versus Min Min yeah and Peckham's option coverage is really good constantly switching between the arms to call out where Dom's going to land and not going to attack not even giving you a chance to breathe yeah that's a great point the arm uh, management is very important you know you got that ram ram to cover that high jump you got um what's the yellow one called again uh ram ram megawatt and Drum megawatt you got the megawatt um, you know, to cover some of those landings with a big punish, and it's definitely crazy. And speaking Just of catching like a landing, yeah, uh, Peckham with a one stock lead. And that's a little trick. If you aim the ra if you aim your arm exactly on top of the platform, it lingers a bit up there, which is uh, why you see the arms stay up top and Min Min fall down a bit more. Yeah. And, oh, Peckham not oh, able to grab the ledge there. It's a regrab limit. <laughs> yeah. All right, even game. Dom doing better than he did last set, which is great to see from his end. But let's see if Peckham can try to bring it back. Yeah, that uh, Ram Ram there covered such a high vertical velocity. You you know, people talk about that Min Min um, blind spot, but it's so hard to, you know, come up with that, especially when um, you're getting hit with a big Ram Ram there. Yeah, Richter is not known for getting him. He's very known for keeping him out. What if, what if you put him against a character like Min Min who can also keep you out? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't even been able to really get those ledge trap sequences that he wants so desperately against Peckham. Peckham's really been dictating the pace of the match. I'm extremely curious to see how much Min Min practice Don actually has. Because I would assume it's like the right? There's not really many Min Min players here in SoCal that can actually give him that practice. I know Min Main is around, but doesn't come around to our region. And Peckham with the grab here has the powered up laser. That's going to definitely kill off the side. This is a scary spot to be in. Uh, yeah, especially. Uh, Peckham is up 1 0. 
Especially yeah. considering how Dom's very much struggling to get in, because Peckham is not falling for these traps that he's setting up. All these holy waters of crosses, Peckham's just having none of it. He's saying, nope, I'm going to go away from it, go around it, and not even interact. Yeah, I feel like Peckham here has been doing very well so far, but finally getting a ledge situation that favors Dom and that uh, down B into the floor. So actually going to close it out. Yep, and Dom in the lead. Now, you... it's important, he's got to keep it. Sorry, what? Oh, so Dom's definitely in the lead. He's going to have to keep it. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to take the set because the moment Peckham brings it back to the even stocks, it's anyone's game. Um, what I haven't seen a lot of from Peckham is a reflector. You know, the up tilt does have a reflector hitbox. So you haven't been seeing that play into a part, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> he got those edge guards on lock, getting that side beyond the drift down from Dom. I mean, a lot of times, uh, you know, Dom's able to get away with those drifts because characters can't really contest him off stage. But Min Min doesn't even need to contest you. He just she just throws out a hitbox and beats it out outright. Oh, what a scary big charge there. That One of these big charge uh, ram rams can definitely be the end of the game for Dom. Yeah, the moment Dom's off stage, Pekka, oh, you know, is going to swap to that ram ram and get that edge guard. Oh, this is like, big right now. Here? Oh, he went up with the um, megawatt snipe there, trying to catch a tether once again. Gets a roll through that holy fire, wow. Extremely volatile in that sense, because one little tap off stage is all it needs to take a suck. Oh, this is, this is, I, every time I see Dom get off the ledge, I'm like, now you're in a bullet hell. You get hit once and that could be the end. Oh! Make him out, megawatt and air breaking that holy water is going to be extremely crucial in this matchup. Does not have to worry about it, just needs to space it out and boom. Oh. Don't have to worry about holy water. Right oh, the laser there could have clipped Cross it. coming back, watch out. Good. Keeps that range. And you notice... Oh. Oh. He can cover the... Wait, wait, you can cover that with megawatt? Got enough range? How laggy is that? No, I, I, I gotta check the frame data. Where's my phone? I got you, I got you. Call Charlie. Yeah. Call Charlie? <laughs> yeah, true. Char Charlie knows. This is like watching... This is watching Armada versus Hungry Box, Young Link versus Ness. <laughs> negative 30? Negative 28? No, wait, wait. It's negative 42. Okay. Well. So uh, yeah, definitely punchable. Yeah, and Peckham was able to find the Punisher. I, that's great matchup awareness to go for that side. I mean, to be honest, it's pretty safe, but still a good pickup. And Dom here with a little bit of a giving um, Peckham a taste of his medicine without yeah, order. I mean, it might be a bit crazy to say, but Dom might need to go off stage for a little bit of edge guards because he's not going to be able to rest start back him out. Yeah, especially, especially considering with, yeah. how little interaction he's going to actually get given Min Min's arms, he just really needs to get it. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy to say that that Richter needs the one uh, to get uh, to get in, but Min Min's distance has been his her distance superiority has been absolutely key to Peckham's success. Especially, and it looks Peckham is very well versed in this match. Oh, great coverage on the megawatt. He's really good at covering jumps from the ledge um, with the megawatt there. And look at that pressure. I mean, so safe and so deadly. Especially right there. The first arm breaks through the cross. Second arm goes in and puts on that pressure. It's extremely useful. Oh, catches the holy water. Let's see what he can do with it. He still use B moves. This is terrible for uh, Dom, this situation. But it's pretty even in percent. But as soon as I see Dom... You know, in the corner, I'm like, how does he get out? And I'm so used to saying that for Dom. Like, once Dom has the corner against his opponents, he's in like such a good spot. But so far, Peckham's been leading in the ledge trap. But great cross conversion. Yeah, absolutely. The, the Dom special getting the returning boomerang. I feel like that's a SoCal special. Everybody has Everyone returning boomerang. Right yeah. And uh, yeah, Dom's still showing signs of life. This is definitely not an easy throw. Yeah, Peckham's still gonna have to put so much work in order. Yeah, I mean, chance. he's been getting out of the ledge very principled. He's been mixing up his timings, his options. Uh, you see there, that's a mix-up he hasn't gone for so far. But, um, you know, Dom has been playing very well when he has a chance to, but when he can't play, I mean, there's not much you can do. Yeah, he just has to keep on putting the pressure. It would, it would probably do him well to even be a little bit more aggressive because staying back clearly isn't doing much, especially in these new situations where he's oh. really needs to be getting in. Yeah, I mean, so far Peckham kind of faltering under this pressure, but this dragon laser has been getting him off the ledge. Uh, get out of jail free card there uh, for Peckham. Peckham able to roll through the holy fire and doesn't get a punish on the parry there, but oh, that was a big uh, uh, megawatt. Drift is so good when using the tails for the right hand. The arms, he just very so slightly goes away from the forward air and back air distance. Where he can Oh, and a great laser once again for Peckham, and somehow unable to grab the ledge there, a little bit too high, and uh, that's going to be the stock, and switching back to the Ram Ram immediately. Uh, but from what was said, Dom has a pretty size of elite, so let's see if he can actually keep it, and keep it going. The reflector finally coming out for Peckham there. He's been trying to swing at the uh, hitboxes that, or he's been swinging at the spots that Dom wants to occupy after throwing a projectile, and it's been working uh, so far so well. Reads the jump, but just barely oh, the that's, 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 that's a stock. That's a stock. That's a stock. Unable to recover well, there. Dom's and... got to make it work. Otherwise, Peckham's taking this in the clean three up. 
Peckham with an anti-air once again, and this is a big Still opportunity. Clean. Yeah, it's a down tilt. I'll be out of show. First time we're going to, first time we see it, and probably first time we're going to see it. And not even able to punish that whiff, but the air to air is oh. going to be big and good great DI. Yeah, great DI from uh, Peckham to get out of that Holy Cross or the Holy Fire into the uh, forward smash. SCI is crucial against that. Good air dodge from Peckham once again, trying to get off the ledge in any way he can. You see Dami a little bit more aggressive for getting ready to stuff up Peckham everywhere he can. He needs these air guards. That could be it. He just needs. If you okay, he could probably could have gone off stage and gone that edge guard, but knowing Dom, he probably doesn't even need it. Oh, and that was what a distance that uh, Holy Water gets. Oh, but this is a big opportunity for Peckham not going for the grab there, trying to hit his uh, shield with these uh, with this pressure, but it's not been working so far for Peckham. Just need to tap Richter off stage once, and that's all he needs. Oh, oh covers the jump with the, the jump cross. With the axe. Extremely well played from Dom, and he's on the board. Yeah, Dom not giving Peckham the trio he so desperately wanted, and uh, yeah, this could definitely be a long reverse trio we're seeing. Yep, we gotta keep that mentality tight. Once oh, yeah. you let that fall and slip just like that, immediately your lead just doesn't look so big anymore. Oh yeah, it's all mentality at this level of play, especially in this matchup. I mean, everybody here is good. At, everyone so far in the bracket is good enough to beat each other. It's just whose mental holds out really. Sure, and who can outplay their opponent enough to get these wins? Oh yeah, We've got some Dom fans in chat. Um, let's let's see if your boy can get the the reverse three zero. Game four, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Again, still playing that long range. Oh, and Peckham playing in the corner and trying to make his way in, and that's worked twice now. He gets the air to air. Wow, Peckham's been playing very. He's playing very differently so far. I like the tempo change. It seems like Dom's trying to be a little bit more aggressive, and while Peckham's trying to be a little bit more passive, which is interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, earlier on we saw Peckham kind of push the envelope on Dom, and now that Dom's kind of reading through the pressure, Peckham's like, okay, we're gonna play it a little bit slow now and see if you can uh, cover this. Yeah, especially because in earlier games Peckham was usually throwing out one arm and then two arm, constantly mixing up that pressure. But you'll notice in these more recent games, he's usually going for one arm and to jump away, mixing up whether he uses one or two and gets in from it. That could be it. He misses the edge guard though, and yeah, he goes for the reverse though, and oh, Dom unable to get back, and that's a big pickup for Peckham. Both of them like, ah. Uh, well, Two two stops. Still good. Gets the returning cross. No follow up from there. And gets the grab off of it. Everyone likes to pull up shield against Min Min there. And that's the big laser now. See, I saw Dom going even aggressive off stage. What he needs to do, he just needs to make sure get those edge guards and also make sure you can turn back to stage. You need oh, to stay safe. Yeah, you cannot drop the shield there. I mean, Dom has been really unable to get out of the corner here. In the, that's a mega that, that's, a, that's okay. There's so many levels of BS that just happened. That's a crazy timing mix up. Like imagine you're like, I'm getting hit in the face 15 times and then a slow one comes in and just kills you. Ridiculous yeah, and timing mix up. And, and it lingers. It's like a puff pound that kills. That's ridiculous. Let's see if Duncan get this ice guard. He very much needs it. Oh. Gets the B jabs there. Peckham's starting to catch on to Dom's jumps a little bit more. Yeah, this, I mean, his drop down um, through the platform aerial pressure has been so good. Yeah, he's definitely catching up to his jumps. Dom needs to change his game plan now, otherwise he's, that's it. It's going to be a stop. And that's going to be his uh, winner side run here. I mean, Peckham's playing this super well so far. Gets a roll through, gets a good forward tilt there for Dom though, and wow, barely avoiding it. Beckham's uh, discipline off stage has been very good, not pulling the trigger on any of those resources that Minmin needs to make it back. Oh, that's a great forward air snipe there. Either Peckham takes the stock now, or Dom does his Clayton SoCal moves and just takes this game and moves it onto a game five. Yeah, Peckham definitely needs this here. Dom also needs this. He needs to find a way to get through this wall of hitboxes. That is Min Min. Gets a forward air though to beat out the um, Megawatt. One good offstage interaction is all Dom needs. Oh, now this is bad. No double jump for Peckham. He doesn't have a double jump. Gets the air dodge back to the ledge though. That's big. But he took 54%, and that's what Dom needs. Continuously staying him, keeping him in that range. 62, and gets again, let's Gets the roll, no holy water. Down tilt under the cross. Oh, oh he cross couldn't get the back. Yeah, the returning cross in. And just like that, game's even, percent very close. It's anyone's game. And this is now the ledge trap that could be the end of the set. Covers the option, but gets a rising air dodge through that um, arm. And oh, oh, no punish! Miss. That's a side B there with that oh, Megawatt. Dragon Leader barely misses. 
Oh, yes. The cross. Is that enough? Not taking it. Wow. Oh my God! Survives. What is happening? Gets the four there. They're on the landing. Him. He goes for the edge guard. Doesn't find it. Dom recovers. Oh, gets a four there though on the punish. Yeah. That did get nerfed. That is laggier now. They're trading. At, they're trading left, shots, left and right. Oh! oh. Uh, and Peckham takes it in a nail biting game four. Yeah, that's a big 3 1 for Peckham there, and this is winner semis, folks. Dom doing everything he can, but you gotta give it up to Peckham, just doing everything right and managing to get in and do what he needs to do and take that set 3 to 1. You want to stream next? I think so. Good luck. I'll do what I can.